Hmm. Where's my pillow? Get comfortable. Let's start with Corden. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be sharing with you how I rendered this perspective in Photoshop. I followed Alex Hogreaf's steps on his blog, and well, this was the result. And make sure that if you're not subscribed, to take a second and do subscribe, like the video, and share it to your friends. And we also have a blog on Facebook if you want to check that out. I'll have all of our links linked down below. We're going to be uploading and posting all of all kinds of interesting posts so make sure you follow us there and i do hope you found this video helpful and let's get started i used sketchup v-ray because it was a lot easier for me to just render the materials in there and here i'm just cutting up the forms of my building with the polygonal lasso tool and just making sure that the perspective is okay and that the building looks fine This is a very big project, so that's why it kind of looks huge. And here I'm just cutting up the shadow created and just turn that into multiply mode. And then I'm just taking the sky off the background using clipping masks and painting it with black because I wanted to have the flexibility changing the sky. And I added some levels to just darken up the whole image but I ended up changing it a few times so don't mind that. And now I'm just selecting all of the glass in the render using polygonal lasso tool and save selecting it as a layer so you don't have to keep selecting it every time. And here I'm just taking a picture of grass, duplicated it a couple of times and then selected the roof of the building and then just added a clipping mask and then with a grass shaped white brush just went over the edges a bit. And I have a full video on grass if you want to check that out too, it'll be in the cards. And don't be confused if you see the image lighter and darker because I was still deciding on the levels and all that. So I've deleted all of the levels and just made it light again because it just didn't look sensible to me. So I'm just adding a dusk sky and some background images. I've tried finding the exact images Alex used but I couldn't find any and my perspective wasn't at the same angle that Alex had his perspective. I added grass on the top of the cliff because it looked too simple to me and it didn't really fit in with the green roofs as much. And then I erased some of the edges of the building just to make it fit into the mountain a little bit better. And I'm just adding a little bit more shadow to the side of the building because it looked a little too light. I added a cooling filter and then took my sky layers to the top of the layers, readjusted the lever to get it to match Alex a little bit more. This wasn't part of the steps but I just felt that the mountain needed a bit more shadows because there wasn't a lot of contrast. So I've just added some of the shadows over there with a soft brush and then turned the blending mode to overlay. And Alex had a trail at the back but he didn't show or say how he actually did it. So I just took this image and tried to erase all of the grass and just leave the trail. So I loaded the selection of the windows and then added some light. This took me so long because I've tried all of his steps, all of his other tutorials but it just didn't look right and I just ended up settling with an image of a window showing the interior. And don't forget to add some light reflections on, on the things that are opposite just to make it look a bit more real and it's an important step. Then reload the selection, I inverse selected it and just added some white glare, added a person on the terrace, added some reflections onto him. And then finally added just a blue 
fog or atmosphere to the image with a soft brush and some black shadow on the corner and then I just adjusted everything in camera raw filter and that is it it came out kind of okay I think it was okay not technically as identical to Alex Hogwarts but I was still happy with the results so I'm Presha Shiruru and I'll see you next time